University's 2017 Summer of Graduation Ceremony. We will begin our ceremony with a presentation of the colors. I ask that all gentlemen please remove your headdress for the presentation of the colors and the national anthem. Please remain standing. March over the colors. Ann Snow Dorowski, Director of Auburn University's Opera Workshop and Adjunct Instructor of Voice, will lead us in singing our national anthem. She will be accompanied by the Auburn University Graduation Band, conducted by Dr. Rick Good, Interim Chair of the Music Department and Director of Bands. Thank you. Retire the colors. Please be seated. It is now my pleasure to introduce Auburn University's president, Dr. Stephen Lee. Good morning. I'm very pleased to welcome you to the summer 2017 graduation ceremony. Today we celebrate new beginnings. This marks my first graduation ceremony as president of Auburn University. And for you, this ceremony represents the closing of a transformative chapter in your academic pursuits and the beginning of a new chapter of great promise and possibility. I'm truly grateful to celebrate this with you. But now I'd like to introduce some members of the platform party. Others will be introduced later in the ceremony. As I call a member's name, I ask them to please stand. Mr. Clark Saley, Auburn University Board of Trustees. Dr. Timothy Businger, Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs. Dr. Don Large, Executive Vice President. Dr. Bobby Woodard, Vice President of Student Affairs. Dr. John Mason, Vice President for Research and Economic Development. Ms. Gretchen Van Valkenburg, Vice President for Alumni Affairs 
and executive director of the Auburn Alumni Association. Ms. Jane DeFalco Parker, Vice President for Development and President of the Auburn University Foundation. Mr. Grant Davis, Secretary for the Board of Trustees. Mr. Lee Armstrong, General Counsel. Ms. Bonnie McEwen, Dean of Libraries. Dr. Ben Farrow, Master of Ceremonies and Associate Dean for Academic Affairs and International Programs in the College of Architecture, Design, and Construction. Dr. Daniel Swantek, Chair of the University Senate and Professor in the Department of Psychology in the College of Liberal Arts. Dr. Jefferson Jones, Graduation Marshal and Associate Professor in the School of Accountancy in the Raymond J. Harbert College of Business. Dr. Alan Wilson, Mace Bearer and Associate Professor in the School of Fisheries, Aquaculture, and Aquatic Sciences in our College of Agriculture. Captain Michael Bruder, Commanding Officer, Air Force ROTC. Lieutenant Colonel Rashawn Steele, Commanding Officer, Army ROTC. Captain Willie Billingsley, Commanding Officer, Naval ROTC. Mr. Jim Jackson, Director of Broadcast Services, Office of Communications and Marketing. And Mr. Steve Geis, Interpreter for the DAF, Office of Accessibility. Let's have a round of applause for this special group of individuals. Our faculty members have played a major role in preparing these graduates for their next steps in their lives. Will members of the faculty please rise? Please join me in applauding these individuals who have devoted their time and effort to shape these graduates' minds and poise them for future success. Now I'd like to ask our candidates for graduation to please stand. All of you. <laughs> now candidates, if you will, please take a, look, take a look around this arena. Your friends and family have come far and wide to celebrate with you today. They have encouraged you throughout the pursuit of your degrees. Give them a round of applause and look to them and thank them for their support. Please be seated. Graduates, we're all very proud of you. Today marks the culmination of years of hard work and discipline. The degree you're about to receive will aid in your future endeavors, both professional and personal. You now join an incredible family of Auburn graduates. Since her establishment in 1856, Auburn has awarded more than 315,000 degrees. Our graduates have moved on to impact our communities, our state, our nation, and the entire world. This summer, we will award 1,160 degrees at the doctorate, master's, and bachelor's levels. We're all excited to see the mark that each of you will leave on this world. But I'm especially excited since you're the first group of graduates that I'm sending off as president of Auburn University. And I wish you the very best of luck in all of your future endeavors. Congratulations and War Eagle. We are honored to have Beth Thorne Stukes with us today to deliver our graduation address. Beth has devoted her life to volunteer work and philanthropy. And as a teacher in the Walker County School System, she has mentored and shaped the lives of many young people. Beth is a pillar of her community, and she is an active volunteer in many service organizations. She has worked tirelessly, not only in Walker County, but across the state of Alabama, working with the Birmingham Cultural Alliance, the United Way of Central Alabama, and right here at Auburn University. Beth is a leader, serving as director of Drummond Company and as vice chair of the Sanford University Board of Trustees. She currently represents Auburn 
as a member of the executive committee of the College of Human Sciences Women's Philanthropy Board and as co-chair of the Because This is Auburn campaign. Her dedication to serving those in the community and beyond is truly inspiring, and we are forever grateful for her devotion to Auburn University. Please join me in welcoming Beth Thorne Stukes. Thank you, President Lee, for this opportunity. It is an honor to be with distinguished members of the Auburn family. I never envisioned myself here in a million years, but today is about the exceptional students in front of me, their families and guests. I must confess to being so jealous of you today. You see, my mom graduated from Auburn, my three siblings graduated from Auburn, and my son graduated from Auburn. Oh, I wish I had. But allow me to immediately dive into the deep end of the pool with selected words from prophets of a future, not our own. No set of goals includes everything that we are about. We all plant the seeds that one day will grow. We water the seeds already planted, knowing that they hold promise. We lay foundations that will need further development. We provide yeast that produces efforts far beyond our circumstances. We cannot do everything. Knowing this enables us to do something and to do it well. Our work may be incomplete, but it is a beginning, a step along the way. Our actions present an opportunity for the Lord's grace to enter and do the rest. We may never see the end results, but that is the difference between the master builder and the worker. We are the workers, not master builders. We are ministers, not messiahs. We are prophets of a future, not our own. No matter who or how you worship, I think we can agree that we sit under the shade of trees, here lovely oak trees, others planted, and hope those that come after us will find our life's seeds productive. In our brief time together, I'm going to go a little Vanna White on you and like any good elementary teacher, use the ABCs to offer words of encouragement and guidance. Don't panic, President. I'm not going to use all 26. <laughs> A, awesome. Hello, because this is Auburn. You each join the most fabulous university family in the world. And lore reveals, with just two small words, War Eagle as your calling card, doors to acquaintanceships, friendships, memories, and opportunities will present, will present themselves. According to uh, Jay Gooch's remarks in May, since 1856, Auburn has awarded 314,000 degrees. You have many brothers and sisters in the Auburn family. I'm going to add another A, attitude. My dad would tell you attitude and preparation lead to success. Remember your attitude regardless of your circumstances is your choice. Beginning. Today is the first page of the blank book on which you will write your life story. Today is the beginning of your legacy. While editing is possible when writing a book, life does not afford us that opportunity. You must be bold, be purposeful, and act reasonably. 
that brings me to choice. You have a lifetime of choices before you, and as my mom's friend Janet likes to say, life is a series of trade-offs, choices if you will. Some aren't significant, like do you want the chicken sandwich or the chicken wrap? But others are quite significant. The choice to be cautious with your words, the choice to be compassionate rather than outraged. Life will throw you curves, your reactions and attitudes. They are completely within your control, regardless of the circumstances. Choose conscientiously. D, determined in dignity. No doubt life is tough. Be determined always. Determined you're on the correct path. Determined in a new path, if need be. Don't let the rough patches get you down. You will be sharpened during those times. Diligently guard your life story and your character. Always treat others with dignity. This is not a reflection of them. It is a reflection of you. Expect excellence. My hubby, the basketball coach, says, if you aim low, you'll hit it every time. Expect the best from yourself. Practice excellence until it becomes your norm. I share a warning here. Be patient of those who don't aspire for excellence. They will definitely annoy you, but encourage them. Remember how you respond is your choice. Be fair in all things. Even when not seeing eye to eye, others will note your sense of fairness. Playing fair with friends, family, and associates will allow you to live with fewer regrets. H is for humor. Oh, but a sense of humor is an invaluable tool. There will be seasons in life that require a pint or maybe a gallon of ice cream. Other moments might require a round or two with a punching bag. If you can both cry until you laugh and laugh until you cry, you will be able to live in the priceless moments. I don't mean to burden you with my ABCs, but I absolutely intend to challenge you. According to a study from Harvard and the Asian Development Bank, 6.7% of the world's population are college degree holders. According to the Census Bureau, 33.4% of Americans 25 or older said they had completed a bachelor's degree or higher. You are in an elite and select group, regardless of your socioeconomic status, race, or religion. I have great expectations of you. Recall the butterfly effect. Everything you do matters to all of us forever. I know Auburn has prepared you. I congratulate you on this momentous day. It has surely been a privilege to share this occasion with you. Lastly, let me turn another letter and lighten the mood. L is for live, love, and laugh. And carry these words attributed to Hans Christian Andersen with you. Just living isn't enough, said the butterfly. One must also have sunshine, freedom, and a little flower. Thank you for your attention. Best wishes, War Eagle. Thank you, Mr. Dukes.
for your inspiring remarks. Appreciate that very much. It is my pleasure to recognize several groups of students who are graduating with academic honors. First, I would like to recognize those who are graduating with honors based on their cumulative grade point averages. Students with a grade point average between 3.4 and 3.59 graduate cum laude. I ask our cum laude degree candidates to please stand to be recognized. Please, please be seated. Students with a grade point average of 3.6 to 3.79 graduate magna cum laude. I ask our magna cum laude degree candidates to please stand and recognize. Please be seated. Students with a grade point average of 3.8 and above graduate summa cum laude. I ask that our summa cum laude degree candidates please stand to be recognized. <laughs> 1979 marked the beginnings of the honors program at Auburn University. In 1998, the program became the Honors College. Honors students graduate with the distinction of University Honors Scholar or Honors Scholar. Would all of those that have earned that distinction please stand to be recognized? Thank you. Phi Kappa Phi is Auburn University's highest all disciplinary honorary, and members represent the top 10% of our colleges and schools across the campus. I now recognize those initiated into Phi Kappa Phi. Would you please stand and be recognized? Congratulations. I would also like to recognize our military service members. Would those degree candidates who were commissioned into the military services earlier this, this week please stand and be recognized? I now ask all active duty service members and veterans in the arena this morning to please stand and be recognized. Thank you all for your service to our country. Would Dean and George Flowers of the Graduate School please come forward? Would Kelly Zoromsky please stand? On behalf of the faculty in the graduate school, I would like to introduce our student marshal, Kelly Zoromsky, who is receiving the Doctorate of Philosophy in Clinical Psychology. Kelly is from Orlando, Florida. <laughs> now would all the candidates for degrees of Doctor of Philosophy please rise. Trustee Saley, President Leaf, and Provost Boosinger, on behalf of the graduate faculty, it is my pleasure to present these doctoral candidates for the conferral of their degrees. As Dr. Leith indicated in his welcoming remarks, this is his first commencement as president of Auburn University. And on behalf of the Board of Trustees, Dr. Leith, I'd like to say welcome to Auburn University, and we look forward to many years ahead of your leadership. By virtue of the authority vested in me as a member of the Board of Trustees of Auburn University, I do now confer upon each of you the doctoral degree to which you are entitled with all the rights, privileges, and obligations thereunto pertaining. Please be seated. The Doctor of Philosophy is the highest degree awarded in the Academy of Universities. 
part of the tradition associated with the awarding of this degree is a special ceremony involving the presentation of a doctoral hood. Would the major professors of the doctoral candidates please escort your graduate to the stage to be hooded as Mr. Jackson calls their name? Members of the registrar's office will direct you to the stage. Kelly Zumrotsky, escorted by Dr. Tracy Witte. Jamie Garthier, also hooded by Dr. Tracy Witte. Daniel Lee, hooded by Dr. Frank Weathers. <clears throat> Caitlin Baker Proctor, hooded by Dr. Elizabeth Breston Knight. <clears throat> Ashley Kathleen Norwood Strickland, hooded by Dr. Barry Burkhart. <clears throat> Brian Messina, hooded by Dr. Christopher Correa. <clears throat> William Fry, hooded by Dr. Stephen Shapiro. Edward Burris, hooded by Dr. Jonathan Armbruster. <laughs> Liab Alwidi, hooded by Dr. Fidel Magahi. Nijian Fu, hooded by Dr. Jeffrey Suling. Christopher Duran, hooded by Dr. Sushil Bobnani. Lee Chow, hooded by Dr. Jerry Davis. Jislan Gui, hooded by Dr. Huyong Kim. <clears throat> Biza J, doctor, uh, hooded by Dr. Huyong Kim. Tapaz Acherje, hooded by Dr. Yan Lee. <clears throat> William Yance, Jr., hooded by Dr. Bruce Tatterchuk. John Fon, hooded by Dr. Alan David. <clears throat> v. 
Decron Dev, hooded by Dr. Mario Eden. Sherath Shader, hooded by Dr. John Evans. <laughs> Patricia Gore, hooded by Dr. John Evans. <laughs> Brian Folt, hooded by Dr. Craig Geyer. Ming Ming Wong, hooded by Dr. Wei Zhang. <laughs> Pratma Devkota, hooded by Dr. Lori Eckhart. Jadish Pudel, also hooded by Dr. Lori Eckhart. <laughs> Bing Yu Lee, hooded by Dr. Sang Ju Zhu. Bertrand Koyoma, hooded by Dr. Dimitri Glotov. Bradley McQuaig, hooded by Dr. Albright. John Zhu Lee, hooded by Dr. Uh, by Dr. Ten Yang Tan. <laughs> Dewat Danu, hooded by Dr. Maggie Han. <laughs> Jin Young Park hooded by Dr. Andrew Sinclair. <laughs> Ian Sola Ognundele, hooded by Dr. Andrew Sinclair. <laughs> Melissa Bailey, hooded by Dr. Cynthia Bowling. Matthew Malone, also hooded by Dr. Cynthia Bowling. <laughs> Ibra Mortez, hooded by Dr. George Venezuela. <laughs> Shahab Derhami, hooded by Dr. Jeffrey Smith. Hung Yu Lee, also hooded by Dr. Jeffrey Smith. <laughs> Seba Hatin Osden, hooded by Dr. Alice Smith. <laughs> Chow Chow, hooded by Dr. Robert Nelms.
Lowell Brown, hooded by Dr. David Bebley. Please join me in congratulating these new doctoral graduates. Now would all the candidates for master's degrees please rise. Trustee Saley, President Leith, and Provost Bussinger, on behalf of the graduate faculty, it is my pleasure to present these master's candidates for the conferral of their degrees. By virtue of the authority vested in me as a member of the Board of Trustees of Auburn University, I do now confer upon each of you the master's degree to which you are entitled, with all the rights, privileges, and obligations thereunto pertaining. Please be seated. Graduates will come forward as Mr. Jackson calls your name. Members of the Registrar's Office will direct you to the stage. Kristen Brogan. Sarah Haygood. Brittany Rock. Gobo Mackey. Alexandra Conti Santos. Frank Oprendy III. Emily Dutton. Lilia Patricia Malevi Gomez. Miranda Reach. Tabitha Turner. Rebecca John. Sarah Lassard. Leon Huey. Eric Todd. Keisha James. Navid Bakwade. Daniel Harden. Mohammed Kahalid Hosan. Mustak Monin. Riley Harstad. Sriham Chardeskin. John Willis. Samira Mukamala. Emerson Larios. Hyao Tian. Chi Jia Wang.
Ulysses Gracia. Fatima Taha. Chelsea Harris. Veronica Ayala. Kyle Lusk. Sagar Tamanang. Nirajan Adhikari. Jacob Montgomery. Praful Barwade. Sonali Rege. Isaac Espade. John Osho. Bradley Morgan. Jason Nelson. Derek Gore. Andrew Freisteller. Carson Edge. Joseph Mata. Mark Walsh. Tiffany Blackman. Claire Gilbert. Douglas Martin. Kamal Ahmad. Sin Lee. Francesco Santiago. David McTeer. Lee Chin. Please join me in congratulating our new master's graduates. We now come to the conferring of the undergraduate degrees. Mr. President, the deans of the colleges and schools will come forward and present the candidates who have been approved by the faculty and recommended for the appropriate undergraduate degrees. The candidates of each college and school will stand when presented and then be seated. Dean Vinnie Nathan, College of Architecture, Design and Construction. Would Sarah Phillips please stand? On behalf of the faculty in the College of Architecture, Design and Construction, I would like to introduce our student marshal, Sarah Phillips, who is receiving a degree in building science. Sarah is from Ayrton, Alabama. Would all degree candidates from the College of Architecture, Design, and Construction please rise? <laughs> Trustee Saley, President Leith, and Provost Businger, on behalf of the faculty in the College of Architecture, Design, and Construction, it is my pleasure to present these students for the conferral of the bachelor's degree. Please be seated. Dean Chris Roberts, Samuel Genn, College of Engineering. Would Alexi Pillen please stand? On behalf of the Samuel Ginn College of Engineering, I would like to introduce our student marshal, Alexi Pillen, who is receiving a degree in computer science. Alexi is from Mobile, Alabama. 
Would all degree candidates from the Samuel Ginn College of Engineering please stand? <laughs> Trustee Saley, President Leith, and Provost Boosinger, on behalf of the Samuel Ginn College of Engineering, it is my pleasure to present these students for the conferral of the bachelor's degree. Please be, seat please be seated. Dean Janaki Alava Lapati, School of Forestry and Wildlife Sciences. Would Jonathan Pace please stand? On behalf of School of Forestry and Wildlife Sciences, I would like to introduce our student marshal, Jonathan Pace, who is receiving a degree in Natural Resources Management. Jonathan is from Helena, Alabama and he is in the Alabama Army National Guard. Would all degree candidates from School of Forest and Wildlife Sciences please rise. <laughs> Trustee Saley, President Leith, and Provost Businger, on behalf of the School of Forest and Wildlife Sciences, it is my pleasure to present these students for the conferral of the bachelor's degree. Dean Joe Astrup, College of Liberal Arts. Would Elizabeth Earls please stand? On behalf of the College of Liberal Arts, I'd like to introduce our student marshal, Elizabeth Earls, who is receiving degrees in public relations and Spanish. She is from Huntsville. Would all degree candidates from the College of Liberal Arts please rise? War Eagle. Eagle. Trustee Saley, President Leith, and Provost Bisinger, on behalf of the College of Liberal Arts, it is my pleasure to present these students for the conferral of the bachelor's degree. Please be seated. Dean Nicholas Giordano, College of Science and Mathematics. Would Chase Sanders Richburg please stand? On behalf of the College of Sciences and Mathematics, I'd like to introduce our student marshal, Chase Richburg. He'll be receiving a degree in chemistry momentarily. He's from Headland, Alabama. Would all degree candidates from the College of Sciences and Mathematics please rise? Come on, guys. Let's go. Trustee Saley, President Leith, and Provost Businger, on behalf of the College of Sciences and Mathematics, it is my pleasure to present these students for the conferral of the bachelor's degree. Please be seated. Associate Provost Constance Relihan, um, University College. Would Nathan Weber Lundquist please rise? On behalf of University College, I would like to introduce our student marshal, Nathan Lundquist, who is receiving a degree in interdisciplinary university studies. Nathan is from Lowville, New York. Would all degree candidates from University College please rise? <laughs> Trustees Saley, President Leith, and Provost Bussinger, on behalf of University College, it is my pleasure to present these students for the conferral of the bachelor's degree. Please be seated. Will all candidates for bachelor's degrees please stand? By virtue of the authority vested in me as a member of the Board of Trustees of Auburn University, I do now confer upon each of you the bachelor's degree to which you are entitled. 
with all the rights, privileges, and obligations thereunto pertaining. Please be seated. <laughs> Graduates, you will now come forward by your college or school to be introduced as Mr. Jackson calls your name. Members of the Registrar's Office will direct you to the stage. Dean Nathan from the College of Architecture, Design, and Construction, Scott Strength. Samuel McMath. Benjamin Patterson. Richard King. Joseph Beam. Raymond Warren. William Speaks. John Stevens. Austin Parker Boone, Cameron Waddle, Justin Gilliam, Charles Escutian III, John McCorby, Jasper Bodun, Andrew Bergen, Christian Case. Joseph Passantino, Jr. Tori Garrett. James Jamba. Sarah Phillips. Robert Thompson. Hannah Shelley. Max Doyle. College of Engineering, Dean Roberts. Robert Brothers. Zane Zito. William Tharp. William Jones. Nicholas Minow. John Tyler Segrist. Jordan Embry, Michael Bassey, Sherman Peake, Joshua Freeman, Brandon Mosley, Alexia Pillen, Michael Whelan, Patrick Zeman, Allison Jenkins, Erin Conway, Cameron Abernathy, Archit Tope, Christopher MacArthur, Daniel Helms, Jonathan Ricketts, Raymond Ortiz, Devin Waddell, Jordan Whittle, Courtney Peavy, John David Jr., Damon Rowe, Chad Rankin, Austin Cowan, Fred Holiday. Cameron Walker, Chantel Crum, Zari Davis, Joseph Bowie, Khaled Albazadi, J. 
Jack Golson. William Olinger. Louise Studman. John Bill. Justin Powell. Halston Young. Joshua Brandt. Joshua Nichols. Corey Donaldson. Connor White. Joseph Gutshaw. Ciara Morgan. Timothy Gill. James Cooper. Dustin Pate. Brandon DeFore. Hayden Phillips. Chris Campbell. Ryan Winters. Mihar Guerrero. John Stouter. Zachary Smith. Travis Wilson. Scott Jackson. Bailey Irvin. Bethany Smith. Andre Sambalay. Corey Mitchell. Cade Guest. Elijah Barton. Patrick Hillier. John Hall. Lauren Caudle. Andrew Garrison. Mark McDonald. School of Forestry and Wildlife Sciences, Dean Alavala Petty. Jonathan Pace. Patrick Campbell. Elizabeth Prince. University College, Dean Relihan. Second Lieutenant Nathan Lundquist. Mary Beth Bug. Cami Silver. Haley Ann Blanchard. Mary Clay Carr. Hannah Ollinger. Jordan Long. Matthew Davis. Kathleen Morgan. Tyler Robinson. Walter Davis Northcutt. College of Liberal Arts, Dean Astrip. Kristen McElvey. Emma Waldrop. Abigail Bennett. Austin Lucas. Samantha Bedwell. Tully Jackson. Haley Cotter. MJ Rott. Evan McCullers. Nathaniel Deal. Samuel Butler. Ann Spooner. Carly Bennett. Stephanie McDaniel. Harper Stevens. 
Elizabeth Earls. Lauren Catherine Cross. Lydia Lake. Camden Carver. Suffa Khan. Cheyenne Bradley. Taria Abernathy. Haley Pascal. Rachel Barnes. Mary Grace. Victoria Chancellor. Sarah Kate Brown. Jasmine Reed. Jelani Moore. Stephen Lundy. Meredith Bovey. David Harris. Molly Porter. Jessica Jones. Jasmine Jones. Gerard Williams. Thank you. Caitlin Moore. Reed Shiver. Bailey Sims. Erin Milford. Jenna Beth Britton. Bailey Smith. Molly Murdoch. Shelby O'Neill. Lindsay Barreri. Bailey Evans. Sydney Patterson. Leslie McWayne. Sydney Kaiser. Edward Brown, Jr. Leah Catherine Wilson. Breonna Nicole Osborne. Nori Baron Malaji. Parker Strickling. Caroline Durr. Olivia Mann. Michaela Lindau. Macy Walton. Jacob May. Travis Tindall III. Jake Legrone. Kaylee Garner. Sue Jin Park. Madison Baccarella. Lanier Daniel. Tyler Tilford. Daly Henson. Catherine Dinsmore. Lauren Draw. Morgan Webb. Christopher Moody. Morgan Buckles. Austin Wally. John Brazil. Austin Fusel. Savannah Sims. Alexandra Brazel. Alexi Hawkins. Mary Alice Britton. Kylie Graham. Caitlin Rogers. Matthew Dillard. Victoria Bush. Alexandra Dixon. Ryan Gordon. Jason Smith. John Franklin III. TJ Dunnans.
Stephen Adair. John Littleton the third. John Wakefield Jr. Chris Campbell. Carter William Pollock. College of Sciences and Mathematics, Dean Giordano. John Siegel. Deanna Godzala. Marissa McLaughlin. Ding Xing. David Rolfs. Logan Adams. Shakara Moore. Audrey Henson. Taylor Champion. Lauren Holcomb. Chase Richburg. Austin Evans. Michelle Patton. Jordan Devine. Jordan Pinnell. Nicholas Mullins. Luke Myers. Sachin Sinha. Jeffrey Robinson. Ryan Brown. Takaki Kena. Anum Jala. Brianne Negretti. Victoria Wells. Davis Mann. Graduates, you are now part of the Auburn alumni family. Mr. Rip, Mr. Rip Britton from the Auburn Alumni Association's Board of Directors is here to welcome you to this exceptional group. Please join me in welcoming, welcoming Mr. Britton. Thank you, Dr. Farah. Good afternoon, graduates. Good morning, graduates. Good morning, guest, and a special good morning and thank you to Dr. Leith on your first graduation ceremony with us, and we look forward to many more. I bring you greetings from the Auburn Alumni Association. To all of our guests in the audience, if you're an Auburn alumni, would you please stand and be recognized? Thank you. The graduates, who are those successful and good-looking people that just stood up? And who are those successful and good-looking people in the stands? They're more than just proud moms and dads, brothers and sisters, family and friends. They're graduates of Auburn University, and today you join their rank. An amazing group of men and women who have graduated from the Plains. CEOs, generals, astronauts, veterinarians, foresters, farmers, athletes, teachers, nurses, engineers, doctors, statesmen. Auburn people are everyday people who spend their lives giving their service to their families, their God, their country, and their fellow man, and of course, to the university. Now, what do you have in common with them? First, you share a diploma, evidence that you've received one of the finest educations in the country. Second, we all share a set of core beliefs, hard work, education, 
honesty, a sound mind, a sound body, a spirit that is not afraid, a belief in the human touch, beliefs that I hope you have learned on your journey to adulthood. And third, I hope you share a pure love for our university that extends past this graduation ceremony. Wherever you go and whatever you do in the years to come, remember that Auburn has played a role in preparing you for your future. Graduates, I strongly encourage you to begin giving back to university, to Auburn, as it has given to you. Do that by being connected with your respective colleges. Become a member of the Auburn Alumni Association. Be intentional about staying connected with your Auburn family and working for the betterment of Auburn. You can visit the Auburn Alumni Association website and start your professional connection there through our career services. There are 93 Auburn clubs throughout the country that you can join with and connect with fellow Auburn alumni and friends in your area. Come back for games. Remain engaged with your respective colleges. Serve on a university board or advisory council. Yell War Eagle to people you see on the streets wearing orange and blue. And when you get that first paycheck, doesn't that have a good feeling about it, a good sound? But when you get that first paycheck, consider your obligation to begin giving back to Auburn. Begin that lifelong habit of supporting your university. But do something, something intentional to stay connected. Why? Because this is Auburn. Why? Because this fosters the Auburn spirit. It's my hope that each one of you will always believe in Auburn and love it. Congratulations, God bless, and War Eagle. As we conclude our ceremony, I would like to take a moment for us to recognize those who have made this day possible. Please join me in thanking Auburn University's graduation committee and all those who have worked hard to make this graduation ceremony a success. And finally, graduates, thank you. Thank you for choosing Auburn University. It has been our pleasure to serve you as educators, mentors, and friends over the past few years. May you experience a truly successful life. You may now turn your tassels to the left. Congratulations and War Eagle. We will conclude our ceremony with the singing of the alma mater led by Ann Snow Dorowski. Would everyone please stand and remain standing until the platform, party, faculty, and the new doctors have recessed from the arena. Students, you may drop off your cap and gown as you exit to the right. Please rise. <laughs>